Hey folks, this is IOEther and we're back with some more World of Tanks. As you can see, this is Merker in his go. This is a tier 8 game on Fiery Salient. And this is a tier 8 German heavy tank logo. This thing, or the Garve, if you really want to pronounce it correctly. Uh, this thing has been out for longer than I remember. Which probably means it was one of the first premium tanks released in the game and um, the number of people I've seen play this tank badly make me want to cry so now we're gonna see somebody play it well so from the front if you're shooting at the, one of these things from the front um, obviously your glacis other than that uh, you can try and hit this cupola but that's going to be a difficult shot that's much easier if you're a little bit above the tank on like a ridge line or something, and it stem will go you. Uh, then you might be able to hit this capo. Other than that, the front of the larva is just not really worth shooting at. If you're up close and personal with it, you can put a gold round through this flat part at the bottom uh, because of the fact that the armor flattens out so much um, that you have a decent chance of penning that with some gold. Other than that, it's not worth shooting at the front of this thing. Lord Glacius, gold round maybe, and this you can pen. But other than that, don't shoot at the front of this thing unless you absolutely have to. The sides are so much easier, and of course the back. And I've always enjoyed putting rounds through this little flappy bed at the back of it. But anyways, um, the other thing you can do if um, your size, this thing is side scraping, is this right here is not as armored as it probably ought to be. And so you can put around through that. Now it, it is angled, you can see, right? But um, if he's side scraping against you, just wait until you see this little tibbet and pop around through there. That'll work. Anyways, um, so back into the gameplay. This is on a counter battle, so it will be a little bit different from a typical battle. As you can see by the fact that we're pushing out into the field, whereas normally heavy tanks will try and take the hill or hold this middle ground here but we're more or less in the center of the map right now and not pushing towards any real extreme part of the map he's gonna end up pretty much in the center of the map when he engages with the enemy unless he makes some final turning choices right up here and before we get started um, please do hit the like button if you really want marker to win the um, the 500 gold that I'll be paying out to one of the video or one of the people starring in the videos from this week um, the one with the most likes will get 500 gold and so if you want that to be Merker because you're impressed with this game then go ahead and hit the like button please oh nice shot into t21 that guy's gonna feel that for a while and the other thing is if you want to support the channel please do share this with your friends and, and clan mates and help the channel grow and that would be amazing thank you or something like five people off from 400. Oh, Jackson taking advantage of the side of our turret popping around into us. And see, I don't know, where, where, where did that go in? Oh, Jackson's on the other side of us. Wait, was that Archer? Do they have a Jackson? They do have a Jackson. Okay. There we go. Putting a shot into that poor scorpion. And now the Jackson Mouse. Oh, the Jackson must be over here somewhere. Yep, T21 in the open. Uh, he's aiming at where he... Oh, you see, if he'd been going a little bit sooner, he probably would have put that round in. Wow! That was a lot of damage. A lot more damage on that Hellcat than I thought we were going to do. As he goes, as the Jackson takes out his loader... Man, that Jackson's really kind of annoying, but he's in a really great spot. Um, I'm pretty sure he's either over here on these tracks. Um, he might be up here, but I doubt it. I'm actually more, more certain he's in this area somewhere. And that Jackson is really putting effective fire into us right now. Um, let's see, we can... The laser says he's on the crossing. Okay. Cool. Look at that. A thousand damage. Just twelve hundred uh <laughs> twelve hundred 
deflection blocked. That's what one. 1200 damage blocked. And then 1200 spotting damage done. He's pretty much just incrementally advancing all of those stats pretty much in time with each other. But now he's getting into a bad spot because that Jackson has been pounding shot after shot into us every chance he gets. And now the Scorpion's jumped on that bandwagon. We're down to less than 200 health. That means another penetrating shot from either of those guys. And this game is done. This replay goes away. And we all sit back and cry. Now Marker is waiting another 10 seconds to get his gunner back. And I doubt he's going to do anything uh, before that happens. So you can see that the hill is currently being pushed by a bunch of their tanks. They're going to secure the hill and then try and fight from here. It's actually not a bad strategy. It's... Um, it's just not going to end up really well if the rest of our team loses a foothold over here as well. Uh, if they manage to maintain this, then they can push from here down onto our guys to eliminate our back lines and then push and unfold our front line. But if we manage to kill their whole, the, the contingent holding here before this uh, these guys for, uh, force us down here, then we're just going to end up encircling them. Now uh, look at that, there's that Jackson. And uh, that's not going to be good for the enemy. So now that we've seen the Jackson, we are of course firing at the Jackson. Oddly enough, the Jackson becomes priority target. Because it's been a nuisance. And now that it's out of the game, there's only that pesky scorpion around here somewhere that can still really dish damage out to us. Um, I say that only because nothing else... Everything else has been pretty much ignoring us. Sorry about that. Um, to see for the last little while, well, just a Scorpion and then Jackson just trading and who takes pot shots at us. And um, actually, if we scroll this down, you wouldn't see very mu uh, many other names at all, as those two have been pretty much focusing the fire on us, and the rest of their team's been focusing fire on other tanks. Now driving over here, he's got more shots. That probably went into the KV-2, but we won't know until later. And an E-8 completely in the open. Oh, now he's behind a train, but that's accidental. He gets taken out by artillery, though. Oh, no. Look at that. We did not hit the KV-2. That one tagged him, though. That slowed his roll. Because <laughs> he went, ah, I got shot. Nice blind fire. Unfortunately, didn't hit the KV-2. Otherwise, that probably would have killed him. What is the average damage on this gun? It is 320. So he would have needed to roll just a little bit higher at 340 to get the kill on the KV-2. He only needs one more kill for his mission. I wonder what mission he's running. Oh, look at that. We can actually see him. Destroy five vehicles and cause 4,000 damage. Now he's not quite at the 4,000 damage mark, but five vehicles he almost has. Tire so P is pushing up. Ooh, we can we got hit by the E8. So that means there was a pair of E8s on that hill. Um, and one of them made a break for it and got away for it. the time being. Looks like we did not, in fact, hit that KV-2. IS-3 behind us, but he's on the other side of the tracks. Nothing we can do against him. He's backing up to increase his elevation, make it more likely he's able to get these shots over top of the buildings and into the tanks he's actually aiming at. Now with the IS-3 pushing up, he might end up having to go, go ahead. Ooh! E8 in the open. Oh! 17 damage shy of taking out that E8. Man, that's unfortunate. That's gotta hurt! He's so close to getting his mission achieved right then and there. But unfortunately, it was not to be. And there's no way he puts around through two houses into a T-43. Uh, though he is waiting. He's hoping to get this kill. But it, there's no way he's going to. Yep. Fires too late. Anyway, gets himself lit. And now he's going to have a KV-2 aiming in on him. Because he is a one-shot if the enemy pays, plays this right. IS-3 comes up. IS-3 either wants some of us or more likely is looking to kill um, the T-34 or T-20 over there. Those are both soft targets. 
Now remember, there's only four tanks left on our team and an artillery, so gotta start playing this a bit cautiously. There's the enemy scorpion, snapshot straight in, and there's our five kills. However, mm, the game's still not won, and the game's actually a little iffy now because of the fact that we're on such low health, and so is the rest of our team, not counting artillery, whereas the enemy team is on a lot of health. Also, they have an artillery. It's called a KV-2. That thing can punch rounds at targets. It doesn't need to go through, it just needs to hit you. And this HU damage will do the rest. Marker needs to stay solidly behind this rock. He can't even bounce. He can't want to bounce around from this KV-2. He needs to stay in a spot where the KV-2 can't see him. Because otherwise the KV-2 will murder him by proxy, more or less. It'll just... I'm actually wondering if he can shoot the rock in front of him and splash him. Uh, that's not what he wants. IKV has decided it needs to go kill our artillery, and that's exactly what it's moving to do. Nice shot into the top of the IS-3. That was the uh, little slot up on top of the turret of the IS-3 that I showed you yesterday. And that's what uh, he used to put a great shot into that IS-3 and take him mostly out of the game. Now, for some reason, that IKV didn't commit. I don't understand why. He really should have just committed to coming over those tracks and killing the artillery. And now it does, and then it backs off and just gets out of there. Great job from the enemy IKV, but now we have a serious problem. With our artillery dead, we've got to take out this IS-3 pretty quickly, and then move in on the KV-2 before the IKV links back up with him. And then we have a serious, another, more serious problem. Now, unfortunately, it's still a KV-2, so if we play this wrong, we're going to die screaming in a fire, um, as will all of our teammates. And the IKV, if he's not a moron, can actually take us all out. Now, unfortunately, it does look like the IKV might be driven by a moron, as he seems to be charging with the thing when it's definitely not designed as that kind of tank. Uh, he might, in fact, just be trying to get lights for the KV-2 and understand if he's trying to do that. Um, having lit the KV-2, it's nice to know he's not dumb enough to be sitting out in the open, but he probably doesn't have much of a building left. Those are the, either the IKV training shots with the AT-7, yes, that looks like what's happened. Uh, don't shoot the AT-7, doesn't... Good job, up to seven kills. And he's looking for the one to put the little feather in his cap and top it all off with the kill on the KV-2. He's just going to go ahead and roll through cap because why bother? It's not like he has to go around. Worst case scenario, he gets himself killed and the rest of his team dies. But, you know, no pressure. It's nice to discover what, which of these buildings you can roll through and which of them you can't. However, uh, that is letting the KV-2 know exactly where he is. And there it is. And takes a snapshot, and he misses! Oh lord, he missed! So now we have thrusters in the hands of the rest of our team! Oh lord. Okay, AT-7 is gonna just... Nope, AT-7 is just gonna walk through a building and start shooting this KV-2 in the face. Now we hope for the KV-2... Did the KV-2 just bounce? I think the KV-2 just bounced. I think he just put a round off here. Or potentially th there. Or actually it's quite possible that's it right there. Wait, was that? Oh yeah, look at that. I bet you that's it right there. That's so wrong! And then, yeah! But good lord! That's not how you want to end a game! <laughs> wow! Okay. You guys need to bring these down a notch. Okay. If if someone's trying to get the war for blowing my heart out, it goes to Merker this week. Good lord, what do you saw? When I saw him die, I was like, well, that's it, game's over.
There's no way this works out in our favor. Well, apparently, either the KB-2 had a regular, an AP round loaded next for some reason or another, or he ran out of HG. And I get the feeling it's more likely the second than the first. I can't imagine why a KB-2 would load HG against something as heavily ar ar uh, AP, sorry, as against something as heavily armored as an AT-7 on purpose. Though he may have been trying to pop the T-34. If, no, he still should have used HG for that. I don't... It doesn't... It does not compute. I don't get it, but it's okay. Mastery Batch, Ace Tanker, Bruiser, Duas, Fire for Effect, High Caliber. There should be a Radley Walters in here, but there's not, unfortunately. There's just the Top Gun. Wow. Now, the thing you've all been waiting for, has he completed his mission with honors? Yes, he has. Over 4,000 damage and over 5 kills means he got... Uh, he may have died, but he finished his mission with honors. Good job. Nice going. Wow. 1,600 damage and a KV-2. 13 shots fired. I don't know if that means he was out of high explosive or not. Somebody out there who drives a KV-2 more often than I do will have to tell me. Wow, that was well done. And just great carry. 25 shots fired. Unfortunately, only 15 penetrate. But look at that. He still makes 100 grand in credits. This tank is worth it if you know how to drive it and how to use it. And actually, the fact that he died and still only cost him 8 grand to fix his tank, that's just wrong. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you so much, Merker, for sending this in. And I will see you all next time. Unfortunately, there will not be a second game today. I managed to get myself injured. I'll be okay. I just I, I can't sit here and make another game, unfortunately. Um, I hurt my back. So... I will see you tomorrow for another game then. In the meantime, I'll get a bunch of rest. And thank you all for watching. Please do hit that like button if you want Merker to get 500 gold, which I can't imagine you wouldn't after as depressing game as this was at the end. And uh, please share this with your friends and clanmates because they need to see this awesome too, right? And I will see you next time. This IOE throughout. out.